All right, guys, last time that I spoke with you, uh, we were casting a patient using the fiberglass casting technique uh, to create some custom orthotics. So when we finished, this was our finished product. This is what the, the, the fiberglass cast looked like once we took it off the, off the patient's feet and they dried. These are the finished product, and this is what the finished product would look like um, once we complete the, the full process of pouring the cast, um, and, and, we're, and creating the orthotics. So what we're going to do today is we're going to actually fit the patient with these orthotics. So I'm going to have the patient stand up. Okay, so the first thing I, I want to do is I'm looking at the, pa the patient as she stands um, and we can see where she has the instability in her foot and her ankle. Uh, so what I want to do next is I want to see exactly how the orthotic is going to fit uh, to her feet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just have her stand in her, in her natural stance. Uh, you don't want to change her stance. I'm just going to hold your foot up for me. All right, and hold this foot up for me. All right, so basically what we're looking for here is we're looking to make sure that her subtalar joint is in neutral and that she has full arch contact here. So from this angle, uh, you know, the orthotics look like they fit in pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and have her step off. What I want you to do is turn and face that wall. And again, I want to look at the patient from the back. Uh, and as you can see, uh, she's not in complete uh, rectus. The heel is not in complete rectus. So what we want to see whenever I put the orthotics on is I want to see these, her heels come back up to complete rectus. So hold this foot up for me. Slide it back just a little bit. There you go. Let's hold this one up. Up, slide forward just a little bit. Now come back just a little bit. There you go. All right. So as you can see, the heels went from uh, not being in rectus to complete rectus. And what we're looking for here is you can see that the Achilles is straight up and down, and everything is straight over the and everything is straight over the uh, centered over the ankle. So we got her in complete rectus, and she should do very well with these orthotics. All right, go, you can go ahead and have a seat for me. So the next thing we want to do is we need to now fit the orthotics to her shoes. So what I'm going to do is the orthotics are, the top cover of the orthotics are actually longer than the shoes. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually go and we're going to trim these back some so they fit properly into the shoe. The, the way that the orthotics fit into the shoe uh, plays a big role in how the function of the orthotics is with the patient. So the orthotics is not sitting squarely in the shoe. It can affect the way that, uh, it can affect the patient's gait cycle. So let's go take a Go to the grinder and we're going to uh, grind these down just a little bit. We're here at the grinder uh, and what I'm going to do is, you know, first I'm going to put the orthotics in the shoe just to see exactly how much I need to take off. And the way I do that is I feel on the inside. If the patient has a shoe that has a removable insole, it's a great tool to use to actually measure the orthotic and get it to it as exact length of the shoe. Uh, if the patient does not, uh, be very careful whenever you trim the orthotics back to uh, make sure you do, not, you do not take too much off. If you take too much off, you know, you're kind of leaving yourself short because you can't add back to it. But if you take a little bit off at a time, you can always keep taking down until you get that perfect fit. So let's see if we can get the perfect fit here. So what I want to do is I just want to stick it into the shoe, run my hand on the shoe, make sure I haven't taken off too much, and I just need to take off a little bit more on the side. And then what I want to do is just kind of clean up the edges. Alright, so now let's see how it fits into the shoe. Alright, and now we have a perfect fit. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the second one real quick and then we'll come back uh, and we'll, we'll fit the shoe and the orthotics on the patient. Okay, so now that we have uh, trimmed the orthotics to size uh, to fit into the shoe, what you want to do now is you want to make sure that the shoe and the orthotic together fits well on the patient's foot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the patient stand up. We're going to put her into her shoes. Uh, and we're going to see how, how, how it fits on her. So go ahead and stand up for me. All 
Okay. Okay. So, with with the way her orthotics fit in the shoe, it fits it fits well. It's not too tight. I still have enough room uh, to pull material. So she has plenty of room in the shoe with the orthotic. So what I would do for this patient is we're going to let this patient go with the wearing instructions of I'm going to have her start off wearing them for an hour uh, the first day that she wore them, which is today, and then I'm going to have her increase by uh, an hour each day till she get to a full eight hours. Uh, I'm going to have her come back in two weeks. We're going to follow up in two weeks. If we need to make any adjustments, that would be the time to make, make adjustments. I never make adjustments on the first uh, visit on the day of dispense because you've got to give the patient time to get used to the orthotic, and you've got to give her time to get used to the new gait cycle. So what we're going to do is we're going to have her go through the break-in process. I have her come back in two weeks, and we'll make adjustments then. So you will see another video from me here soon on the follow-up to this video to see how she's doing with the orthotics. Until then, I'll see you next time.